<laughs> Lady's going, damn, I've never had what two at once. What if it was Katy Perry and Mila Kunis? There you go. Could you handle that kind of like, action? Let, let God send those women to me as a temptation to see if I would stray from this toy. Yeah, what, what if it was both of them? You, you yeah, see, what if it was both of them? I didn't even have to choose one. And you're like, like oh my God, even in my book I never had two at once. Right, like, I can't right. turn that down. Okay, so you know God... Well, you're God's have to a loving and forgiving God. Yeah, right? yeah here, 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 here it comes. Go, you're going to understand this because it's two. You sent me two. But that wasn't part of the contract. I said, I'm not going to sin. I'm not going to. But two. You know. Like, what if I just like lost control? I mean, sometimes things just get out of hand. You just fall off a roof and, you're, and yeah, your dick like, gets stuck yeah, in there. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually a, in the Talmud talks yeah, about that. Yeah. Guy just, falls off a roof and his dick gets stuck. Or like I'm trying to Mikarev them. To what? Mikarev them to what? Well, Mila's Jewish, and Katie, Mila. I want her to become, I want her to become a God-fearing Noahide. Okay. So I'm trying to show her the Noahide laws, and, uh... You get a little carried away. I get a little carried away, and she says, like, explain to me, like, the laws of family purity, and, and show, me how I, and show me how a husband is really supposed to treat his wife, and I don't know if I'm ready for marriage yet, if you get me ready for marriage that I could, you know, find a righteous husband and live as a Noahide, and like, I just lost control. That's why there's Yom Kippur, right? Yeah, except our religion isn't like Christianity where, like, you do an Avera, you know, you do a sin, mm -hmm. and then you, like, you, you go, well, it's okay because I'm gonna, I'll do, like, uh, 30 Hail Marys and, right. you know, whatever. We don't work like that, you know? You don't, we don't bank on Yom Kippur. If you want to be forgiven for Yom Kippur, you're gonna have to do Tshuva before then. Chuva, which is actual atonement, that means you're going to have to. Who would you most like God to send you as a temptation to see how strong you are in this this area? Wait a minute, that's a that's a that's a that's a clutch question. I want him to send me something so that I can say, hey, look, I got. Do you know the Torah says you're you're, you're not supposed to do? We learn we're not supposed to do that. We're not supposed to say, hey, come test me, because God will come and break you down in ways. Who dem Who made the faulty mistake that we don't? For the rest of us, we don't have to know this. We don't have to ever try this. Who tested God and said, Throw it, I'm fine, I'm above the law. Good. No, no, not Job. Not Job. Somebody though in Tanakh, Shlomo Mela, said, No problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna increase horses, I'm gonna increase women. Torah says if you go, if you get a if you get a, a king, right? If yeah. if you get a you know, top of love melech, if if you get yourself a king. Shouldn't shouldn't be uh, yoser uh, noshim, and he shouldn't be yoser uh, horses. How the hell do you say horses? I forget. And because you know maybe horsem, horsem, yes. And if he gets too many horses, he's going to lead the people back to Egypt. If he gets too many women, they're going to turn his heart away. The strange gods, right? And this Shlomo's like, man, that doesn't apply to me. I'm above that. Bring it, God. I can handle it, and everything failed, right? So, so we already learned from him, like. If he couldn't handle it, don't you dare try to handle it. Okay, God, don't send me Mila Kunis. But if you're going to send me anybody... <laughs> yeah, but notwithstanding, if he was going to send you somebody... No. Do you have a favorite book of the Bible? No, you know, I read that question that you had there, and uh, I can't, I don't honestly... Do you have a favorite biblical character? I like don't. Part of his wife. <laughs> you like Shikstas. You like well, she, can, she can tempt you and see how strong you are. <laughs> I thought we discussed this. Uh, I don't have. Why do you have favorite people? No. Nah. Why do you ask questions that you don't even have answers for for yourself? When the Torah commands us to love the stranger, does that mean we need to learn to love the stranger in ourselves, to embrace our shadow, and to elevate our self-esteem? Is that really what the Torah is talking about? You tell me. You wrote that question. I don't think so. <laughs> have you learned to love yourself? Have I have I personally learned to love myself? Yeah. I did yesterday. I'll tell you why. Why? I had a, I had an interesting experience. I told you about the Walgreens thing. I eat. want me to want me to demonstrate that yell again. No, I've got <laughs> children around. <laughs> um, okay, so I, the Walgreens thing. So I woke up. Well, actually, I was like going to bed last night, and I woke, and I. <laughs> God, if God sent me John Travolta and he said, give me Arl and I'll make you famous and rich. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're at Walgreens last night. You know, that whole thing that happened. You learned to love yourself. I'll tell you why. I yeah. felt very proud of myself afterwards. Okay. When I woke up, I felt very, very proud of myself. And here's why. Okay, I'm, I didn't do 
what I wanted to do with the tongue, mm -hmm. which was stand up for that little girl. But you posted on Facebook about it, and that's almost as good. But that's not the little girl. The little girl's like, you know, just been abused and all shit, but like she can feel good that the people watching her, you know, updated their Twitter, you know? And so, I mean, like, what good does that do her? Um, but here's what I felt good about. Are you ready for this? Yes. I actually wrote this on my, on a comment on the status, it's buried, I don't think you saw it. That I realized that I did a great thing in this world. And this is what I really want to be remembered by. Because you didn't have kids. I did not have kids. Well, you did read this. No. I did not have it's... kids. Because if I had kids, I would be that, 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 that blonde bitch who walked in. Yeah. That would be me. Yeah. Because I, that's how I would be. I'd be screaming. People don't understand this. They go, oh, Rabs, you're some good, good guy. You'd be good with kids. No, I would not. I would be her. When she screamed at that kid, boy, it brought back everything, you know, of like my dad and the whole business, you know. And I know that that's how I would be with my kid. I should not have kids. It seems so obvious to me. I don't know why it's not obvious to other people. It boggles my fucking mind that every child abuse victim is not like me. It just seems so obvious that when you see that that's how you would be, you don't have kids. And you would think there's like lots of us who would just swear off having kids. But there's not. In the from community, I'm it. How the fuck could I be the only Jew who's taken it upon themselves to eradicate the cycle of abuse. It doesn't make sense to me how I'm that person. So, you know, there's a lot of things that I've done that, like, you know, I'm, like, the first person to do. You know, I'm the first rabbi comedian, right? I, 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 you know what I mean? I was in an Academy Award-winning movie. They did a whole thing about me. You know, whatever. I, 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 there's a lot of things that, like, you know, I could try to be remembered by. You know, want to know something? That's all bull. The thing I want to be remembered by, I was the guy who gave up his life, right? I martyred myself because I would not abuse a child. And I am the first and only person to have made it this far and said, I will not continue the cycle of abuse. And I'm like 50 years old now, and I have cut it off, and it has cost me dearly because I'm a single trapped in a religion for married people, Right? And uh, serving a lifetime sentence is Shomer Nagia. And I'm fucked for life because I have no partner, because no woman is willing to do what I have done. And I would love for every single Jew who was abused to follow my lead and not have kids. And this is the thing that's going to kill me because I don't know how long I can go with this. And it's going to get to a point one day where I'm going to say, fuck it, because I've also got financial problems. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end it. But I want to be remembered for this. So you asked me a question. I love myself now. I really love myself because I realize that I'm a hero. That I have done something that's incredible. I am not that blonde bitch in Walgreens. And I have done something and I've given up my whole life and any happiness, I have never experienced it. And I never will. But I will never abuse a kid, and I have done it. I have this tremendous accomplishment, and this is my moment to brag, that I have martyred my life, and I have broken the cycle of abuse. Have you met any women over 50 who you found erotic? <laughs> you know how to... Well, you, a... <laughs> you, could, you, could, you, could, you could marry a, a woman past menopause who can't have kids. If you found, do you, I mean... You've got to give up these. There's no such the thing. Stuff. There's no such thing in the there's from menopause? world. There's no. Here's a. Secret. There are a lot of fifty-five-year-old single. No, there's women. not. No, there's not. In and the in the from. From. No, there's not. Here's the dirty little secret in the from world that nobody wants to talk about, and that is that there's so much insane pressure that is put on single women to have kids because they're told if they don't have kids, then they have no purpose in this world, and that misguided bullshit needs to stop. Okay, because it has no mucker in Torah. Right? It has no mucker in Teira to say that a woman has no purpose unless she has kids or that she raises kids. That's bullshit. Okay? She does have it, but she's unfortunately told that. So they're all obsessed and compelled to reproduce at any cost. And as a woman gets into her... 50s. If she's no, if she gets kids. into her late 30s, this whole biological clock of hers goes over. But why don't you 